thank you for coming on this video just a quick disclaimer the first part of this video basically got deleted and i have to re-record it so that's what this is and then it will change later on in the video also thank you enjoy the video bye how tall are you i'm not too sure i'm not gonna lie to you guys um i just know that i'm 165 centimeters and that could be 5'4 or 5'5 five five. do with that information what you will what is my favorite food oh my gosh if you know me if you know me rice is my favorite food i can have it three square meals a day i can have it breakfast lunch and dinner there was one time uh back in sixth form where i basically like for lent i gave up rice i did it i did it but it was tough like people genuinely thought i would not be able to do it um so yeah rice is my favorite food long story short tldr rice is my favorite food what is the most recent tv show that i have watched okay recently i've been watching a lot of j dramas a lot of k dramas um especially like korean and japanese dating shows but the one thing that i've been like fixated on is power rangers okay so like a couple months ago so around like maybe 2023 august or maybe june july august time i was like craving to watch power rangers but i didn't know what power rangers that i wanted to watch so i was just like oh do you know what i'm gonna start from the very beginning and i did that so right now i'm season five or season six i really can't remember but it is um power rangers in space and i'm loving it i'm not gonna lie to you i think mighty morphin zeo is a bit dead but then anything the new generation power rangers is also dead like i think after samurai like you're you're pushing it now you're what's a book you would currently recommend someone right i want to recommend two books for this so i have recently bought a kindle and i have been reading a little bit more she's a girl who reads i've been reading recently more non-fictional books so that's stuff that's like not fantasy like not made up basically um so i want to I recommend both a fictional and a non-fictional book so the non-fictional book is the 12 week year i finished i gobbled that up in like i think total reading time um less than a day i read it over two days um like for someone who doesn't like needs help with like visualizing how to plan your goals 12 week 12 week year mwah, like it's i've never like actually put my head down and planned so much so quickly and i feel really excited but i haven't put it in implemented it yet but i really want to share this uh book with you guys and then uh for my fictional book oh my gosh okay it's a tie i absolutely do love mallory blackman's um knots and crosses it's like i fell in love with it when, when i read it when i was in secondary school i found it in the library and i read it and i was just um no 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 i was gobbling that up like i i i devoured that book then i when i realized there was more you know i was mallory blackman fed me well but i think it's gonna have to go to how to lose the time war so how to lose the time war is was the first book that i read after like saying oh i really want to get back into reading again um it was very quick and easy i think it was about 200 pages pretty easy to gobble down it's a romance it's a sci-fi it's something that i usually wouldn't have gone for um but i really really enjoyed it i really liked it so that's why i definitely recommend that to you guys what are some goals for this current channel that you have i really want to emphasize the word diary here it's just going to be a video diary I have always wanted to journal, but find it tedious to journal every day. But I do enjoy making videos. I want to revamp this and have a video diary, basically. I'm so terrible with my memories and having like a visual place to see my memories would be awesome. It would be amazing. So we're revamping Ebby's diary. That's like the main goal for this. I think I just, just want to have fun. I want to make videos. I want to be cool um, and see what goes along the way, basically. What is your ideal 
Evie look like. Um, I've always wanted to be more alternative. Like, I just want to be more. I just want. To, I just want people to look at me and be like, she's alternative. Like she, she dresses so weirdly, but it's so freaking awesome. Um, that's like one of my main things for Ebby. I, <clears throat> my ideal Ebby would also be really fit. I am not fit at all. Like I lose my breath going up the stairs. So <laughs> I want to be more fit. Um, definitely like I would, it would be really cool to have like more muscle. Um, I also want to be someone who learns a lot of languages or can speak a lot of languages, which would be freaking cool. What are some qualities that you value? Qualities I value. Loyalty. Uh, I'm loyal, so I would I value loyalty. Resilience. Um, being like really resilient. Cause oh boy, I feel like you're not gonna get anywhere if you're just gonna let yourself be knocked down. And I know sometimes it's really easy to just be like, this floor feels really nice, and just stay there. Um, but I would like to be surrounded by people that are that pick you up and you can pick them I could pick them up as well um, to cover the times where I really just want to lay on the floor and not get back up basically so resilience is definitely one fun fact three is my favorite number so I'm gonna go for a third value here for some reason creativity is coming to mind I am a creative person I am also a logical person but I think they don't have to be separate you can be creative and logical and and it works very well and i think i need to remind myself that i am creative and i can be creative and i would like to be surrounded by more creative people um and creativity makes me happy so i think it's very important for people um to be creative and that's something i value i need to finish this pink drink that's the end of this video thanks for watching guys this was really fun to make and that's the whole point of this channel so hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you next week pink drink finished